Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back. Okay, today we're so excited, we're going to be going over those socks we talked about. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And today I will be going over how you design these in side of Canva. Okay, if you have not already seen the video of these, please go ahead and watch that. But now I'm going to show you how I design them. I do want to let you know these sock jigs are from Amazon. These socks are from Five and Below. The large socks are from Amazon. This is from Five and Below as well. And well, Five Below. I always say Five and Below. These are from Five Below five below the large ones are from amazon i will have the links below so you can see them um so yeah we gonna go ahead and um get into it lego meet me inside of canva i'm still tripping off these yes this clip art is mine the girl clip art is mine um the tree and the gifts are from canva the cereal is literally, I just Googled cereal collage. These are from Canva. I'm going to show you all of that. Let's just jump into it. Let go. Okay, so inside of Canva, I made the inches to be um, 18 in height by 3.6 in width. Okay, and then what I did is I'm going, I separated these two and I made sure they were aligned by this see but let me show you how i did it so i click this here this down here i click that okay so what i'm going to do is i went in here and i had uploaded the pictures okay so this was the picture and when you put it inside of there you see that oops uh -oh. So this is the picture. And so I stretched the picture out because it was literally just a collage that I got off of Google. And what I did was I could have used the Fruit Loops. I could have used any of them, the tricks. Oh, Cinnamon Toast Crush, I should have used this one. Anywho, <laughs> what I did was I wanted to have the image to be near some words so that I can know how to separate them. Okay, so I chose the Raisin brand. I should have used some different cereal. Y'all should have used my favorite cereals, but whatever, I wasn't thinking. So I separated it like that. So I knew the R-A-I and then the B-R and a part of the A, okay? And then what I did was I duplicated it and then I just slid it over so that it can line up. I made sure that the top was the exact same on both of them. And then so that I know the RAI is completely on here, that means it has to start by the SIN. And then the portion of the R, I mean, the portion of the A is right there. So I made sure a little bit of the portion of the A was over some. So you could just play around with it. Okay. Once I did that, I clicked the grid view down at the bottom. And with the grid view, I can make sure it lines up. See? So now I know that it lines up perfectly. Now, this one was up more. I should have probably did it like how this one was. You see how you can see all the Captain Crunch, but it doesn't really matter. I literally am just doing this so that we can see how the sock subbed and how to line it up. So this could have been at the top, at the bottom, whatever the case may be. Um, but it's lining up. So that's how I did it. And then if you want to see it up further, like how it really is on a sock, you just click on the image. You see that? And then just bring it up. So if I want to cut some of the Captain Crunch off, there it go like that. 
Hold Ravens. Then I duplicate this one. This arrow takes it down. Double click it, and then I just raise it up. But that's neither here nor there. That's just if you wanted it exactly like the other socks. I'm going to delete it. But anywho, that's how you make sure that it's lined up. You click the grid view inside of Canva, and then you can see everything's lined up, even the black lines. You see that? You see how the fur at the top, the very top, where it says honey gram O's, how the apostrophe and the S, everything is lined up. The lines, the raisin, but you want to get you uh some type of indicator and i specifically chose the raisin brand so that i can make sure that everything else lined up if those two lined up and it lines up on this one as well as this one the one i actually use see so that's how you line it up under the grid view inside of canva once i had these dimensions i went ahead uh -oh, i went ahead and downloaded it So that's what I did. I went ahead and downloaded it and then I uploaded it into Silhouette. And then that's how I got this. See? And everything lines up literally perfect. Just like that. It looks like one solid collage, but it's not. Yay! okay let's jump back into it okay so let me just show you how i designed these other two socks really quick really quickly inside of canva so what i did was i had the measurements as being 3.6 in width by 18 inches in height okay so that's what i had the measurements I literally just customized, measured them. You can resize it here from home. You can customize the size and put the information there. Make sure it's on inches and customize it that way. It all depends on you. Okay, so that all depends on you. And then what I did was I am going to make a new page. This right here adds a blank new page, okay? So I made a new page. I went to, I guess this was Yahoo Images, um, and I searched puppies PNG so that I could get the puppies with the clear backgrounds. Oh, my gosh, they're just so cute. Look at these other puppies. Um, I might have just searched puppies and then removed the background, but I think I searched puppies PNG. You could do whatever you want. Or you could use a puppy or a picture of a real person in your life. It's all up to you. Okay. And then what I did was. Once I had that picture of that puppy's face. I went ahead and put it on the sock. You can scoot it right here. You can zoom in or out of the image. So I put it there and then I went to elements and I searched heart for hearts and I picked which one I wanted. You could pick whichever one you want and then I changed the color to a pink. Uh oh, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. No. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So there's the heart and then I just copied it so you could copy it that way or you could select the two copy them and then move them around it's a it's all up to you oops it's all up to you however you want to do it right and then you could also make the sizes larger, smaller, whatever you want to do. You play around with it. But literally, that's all I did. So if you want to do that for a person or a face or something, you can do that as well. You can zoom out so you can see how you want it to look. Oh, I switched them around. Uh-oh. 
so literally a hundred percent is just up to however you want to play around and play some etc you see those magenta lines they're letting you know where they're lined up right and then we can make the heart smaller or we could just keep it that one size and then duplicate them so i always say it's multiple ways to skin a cat right so it's a lot of different ways you could do things i'm just showing you the gist of how i did it okay so if you want them uniform like that you could duplicate them switch them around make some of the hearts different You know, it just all depends on what you want to do. But that's how I did the doggy one. So now I'm going to show you how I did the Christmas one. Added a blank new page. I went to Elements, I believe, and searched gold background. Okay, and then I tried to see which one I wanted to use. And you could play around with them. Some of them may not look right. Like this one, I asked Maddie which one I should use. And this one, because of the lights, she didn't like that one. So sometimes backgrounds work on some things where they don't work on other things. Oh, it was right in my face. I didn't even see it. So I'm going to remove that. And then I'm going to, you can stretch it. Or you can write, oh, it's not letting me do it. So this one I had to stretch. We have this as the background. You can stretch it, play around with it. Play, cause look, this is a gradient. So depending on how you want the gradient to show, you see how this is, you can do that. What I did was though, I went to transparency and I, I made it lower. So you could see it wasn't as gold so you can see the colors more okay so then once i did that i went to my uploads and then i went to my girls you can find these girls on my etsy do dream on that's the name of the etsy and what i did was i placed them here i made them a little smaller I made sure they were kind of um, off center. Well, no, yeah, off center because I didn't want them here. So I cut them off. I put them over here so that I can make sure I had the whole image. If anything happened, I went to elements. I searched Christmas tree. All right. And then I found which tree I wanted. I could have used this tree that had the um, gifts under there already, but I did not use that one. I actually think I like this one better. But I used this tree. And if you ever want to know, so I'm always, you know, dropping gems. If you ever want to know which tree you use, if you click on the image, press this I, it stands for info. You can see it's the Christmas tree decorated, and you could view more photo art. It's free in Canva, and then it just shows the Christmas tree decorated with colorful Christmas balls, golden Christmas star, and ribbon, etc. And then you can see the keywords that if I would have searched any of these keywords, then I would have found them over in my elements. I can start, I can add it to its own folder, and I can see more images like this. So if you didn't know what that I was, that's the magic recommendation that's what it stands for and these are all the keywords that i could have found for this one i could have searched and got this christmas tree decorated so that's just a little you know little extra so i put that there and then i searched for christmas gifts you can search christmas gifts christmas presents this was the first one that came up and then I just put it near the tree. I wanted to make sure I didn't cut her feet or anything off. And then what I did was you can group them. And you can actually group up here 
or you could just come in C if you're on a Mac, come in V. And then what I did was, uh-oh, I'm going to ungroup it. And then I'm just going to bring, I'm highlighting the gifts under the tree and the tree. I'm scooting it over. I'm bringing a girl over. And then I'm going to take the girl and flip her so her purse is on the other side. See? And then I'm going to take the top ones. Copy and paste it and bring it down. Now I made sure that for the bottom, like near the toe part, I made sure it was up a little bit further than that. I may, I brought, I'm going to bring this one down so it won't be all the way at the top. Put this one more towards the middle. And then this one down at the bottom. And that's how I decorated these socks using Canva. Easy peasy, let me squeezy. I went ahead and downloaded them and then I uploaded them in silhouette. For the smaller socks, I made it really simple. I literally just uh, made a copy. So you can make a copy. As you see, this is a copy. You go to file, you make a copy and it'll automatically go over into another window. And then what I did was I resized them to be 3.6 by 10. But actually, the width of the smaller sock jig was bigger than this. So let's say you download it and it's not the right size. The great thing about Silhouette is that you can resize the width and the height inside of Silhouette. So that's just an FYI. Let's see. Let's say that you make a mistake and it's not the right size in here. You can resize it in here or you can resize it inside a silhouette. But I'm literally just showing you today how I created it in Canva. Uh, we're not actually going inside a silhouette today because I showed you on the actual videos how I went inside of silhouette. So for these, like I said, um, this one, I didn't even do the small one, but I had designed it, but I did not do this one, but this is how it looked. And then, like I said, you would just make it wider because the, the smaller jig is wider than the larger one. And then I just grabbed my other images, which these are from Do Dream On Etsy shop. You could grab these if you want. I've literally just placed them on the socks. I did the Be Merry. I searched at Christmas tree and then I just typed out Be Merry using the Magnolia script font and I just duplicated it. And then this one was from the journal. If you haven't seen the journal video, go check that out. I had already had this saved. So I literally just put this on the sock for Maddie. Okay. So that's how I did it. Um, yeah. So that's just how I designed them and um yeah yeah so please let me know if you have any more videos you would like to see i'm giving you just a close-up of it if you have any more videos that you would like to see you would like for me to go over let me know so i'm just zooming in so you can see how good it actually looks this is such a cute little design here but yeah, so I just zoomed in so you could actually see it better. See all the details. And everything. And that's a wrap. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please holler at your girl. Um, please join our Facebook group, Queen Dreamer. We love it over there. If you guys have not saw the video of me actually subbing on these, please go ahead, check that video out. Please follow me, Do Dream One, on TikTok. And please follow me, Do Dream One, on Instagram. I'm trying to grow my Instagram, y'all. So please follow me on that. Um, yeah. And I love y'all. Did y'all know that? I think y'all knew that. 
Anywho, y'all, thank you, thank you, thank you again for 30K. We're going to be doing that celebration soon. 30K YouTube subscribers. I love y'all and I appreciate y'all so much. Look at these colors, y'all. Anywho, um, y'all be safe out there. You hear? Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Thank you.